from the far-flung future of 2019 comes OutRun 2019. Or is it the 2019th OutRun game? Not sure. By my unofficial count, this is the fifth OutRun title, following OutRun, Turbo OutRun, OutRun Yupia, and OutRunners. Some people do not include this as a quote, outrun game, unquote. In fact, this title started development as a mega CD title with the name Cyber Road. For me, the box is outrun, so it's an outrun game. And about that box, let's take a look. In the 21st century, if you're doing 200 miles per hour, you're holding up traffic. Ain't that the truth? The top speed in this game is actually different in each region. The Japanese release has a top speed of 341 kilometers per hour, or 211.89 miles per hour in freedom units. The European release has a top speed of 682 kilometers per hour, or 423.77 miles per hour. But the American release has a top speed of 682 miles per hour. In kilometers per hour, that's 1,097.57. Why? Because America. 25 different tracks across 5 levels? Well, there are only 4 stages in the game, so I'm not sure what this is referring to. If you know, leave it in the comments. Is there a hidden level I'm missing? Let's get into the game. Gameplay is similar to OutRun, where there are branching paths at the end of each segment. But unlike OutRun, there are four different stages. Whereas the original is really one stage with multiple paths. I think comparing the two, these stages have a great level of diversity. Each background has a good level of detail, and areas such as the Great Wall are immediately recognizable. Let's get into the three Ps. First, the plot. Well, it's a racing game, so there isn't a whole lot here other than make it to the end. It is interesting that when you do beat the game, it lists the names of seven rivals that I guess you were driving against. The box mentions that precision driving extends play and your life. So I guess you are murdered off screen when the game is over and it fades to black. Play. The play of this game is also good. It is a one player only racing game like the original, except the default is for an automatic transmission where a big part of OutRun's gameplay is shifting between low and high. This can be adjusted in the options to give more of an original feel. Compared to that original, this game is a lot easier though, and I was able to beat it in one sitting. I think this is due to the original being an arcade port, which was designed to take in quarters first and foremost, and this being a ground up design for the home market. I think this game does offer a good amount of replayability, however, there are many paths you can take to get to the finish, and often those paths include differences in gameplay such as jumps or multiple levels. There are also shortcuts in this game which are accessed by jumps on the edges of the track. Let's take a look at what magazines were saying at the time this game was released. I was a subscriber to EGM, Game Pro, and Nintendo Power, so those are going to be my main resources going forward. Obviously, Nintendo Power doesn't apply, so let's look at EGM first. The March 1993 issue of Electronic Gaming Monthly, which was the 1993 video game preview issue, included Star Fox on the cover and complete specs for the Super NES 32-bit CD-ROM. But who cares about that? There's an OutRun 2019 preview in here. Cars in the future can easily move at 200 miles per hour, and that is going slow. Ain't it the truth? Again. I wonder if there was a press release that turned into the box copy. This preview basically has the same info that ended up on the back of the box. 8 Mega Power! Moving on to the April 1993 issue of Electronic Gaming Monthly, with Bram Stroker's Dracula on the cover? Oof. Well, let's meet the review crew inside. Steve Harris, he lists his favorite games. Bubsy? Really? 
Ed Semrad, he lists cool spot and plock, huh? Well, Martin Alessi, he's got Bubsy and Cool Spot? Okay. Sushi X, well, he's the fighting games guy, so he's got Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. That's acceptable, at least. Were they getting paid to list trash here, or what? Anyway, let's keep those current favorites in mind while looking at these scores. Steve Harris gives it a 5 and says, for some reason, Sega has never been able to do a good racing game on the Genesis. Also, there isn't much difference between this and the previous versions, so I guess it is a true OutRun game. Ed Semrad gave it a 7 and says, Although the games are getting better, perhaps there isn't enough memory, so I guess I'll have to wait until Batman CD. Yeah, how did Batman CD work out for ya? Martin Alessi gave it a 5 and said, What happened? If this is what the future holds for cars, I'll stick to the classics. Okay, Boomer. Finally, Sushi X gave it a 6 and said, Outrun 29 is a good idea, but there isn't any challenge. Which is actually valid. 8 Mega Power! One other thing in this magazine I wanted to show. Trick man's in trouble! Oh no! This is an example of the weird stuff that was in gaming magazines. I miss them. Okay, let's go over to GamePro and see what rating faces it got. From the April 1993 issue, with again, Star Fox on the cover, it shared a page with G-Lock. g, -Lock. g Which, oddly enough, is advertised on the back of the manual for OutRun 2019. Pro Review by Scary Larry. Imagine the Batmobile, designed and built by your father, and you might get the picture. Larry isn't wrong on that. Wait, wasn't Scary Larry a garbage pail kid? The ratings. Two graphics, two sound, three control, 2.5 fun factor. Wow. Seeing the score alone would have been enough to avoid this game for me. Back in 1993, other than box art and word of mouth, there wasn't much other than magazine reviews to go on. And with limited kid funds, I wouldn't consider a game with this low of a score. But how do I score it? Rent, buy, or leave it on the shelf? For me, this is a rent. The reason why is I beat this game in one sitting. There isn't a lot of long-term value there. Sure, you can try and get better times, but there isn't a lot of content. However, if you're a diehard OutRun fan, there is a lot of fun to be had here. What do you think? Please leave a comment below. Till the next video, peace.